Hey, what's up, good people? How you doing? Hey, welcome back. It's Larry Jones again. You guys know. Uh, go ahead and do what, if you're new, do what that prompter is asking you to do. Hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. Found out one thing, good people. Listen, if you have liked this page and hit the subscribe button from your phone, right, make sure you go to your home computer and where you hit the like button and the subscribe button, rather, and, and you select all, select all on your computer. That will fix the problems if you're not getting these notifications. You guys already know not to fall for spam in the comment section. You already know anything I say is not a suggestion for you to buy, hold, or sell. So I'm not going to mention it, all right? Uh, but I wanted to make a short video tonight because I want to reiterate this and uh, cover something that I covered this morning um, on my morning's video, right? So this is what I want you to to keep in mind that these next six weeks are extremely important. I believe they're the most important for this entire year, right? So May 3rd and 4th, just like I told you guys a few days ago, I believe it was on Friday, Thursday and Friday, May 3rd and 4th is the FOMC meeting, right? The Fed meeting, right? And then after that, June's meeting is the 14th and 15th. So in the next six weeks, we will know where this market is, is, is headed. You know, I personally believe that it will be the most volatile period for the market. I believe that all of the most dramatic moves will be over in this time period for the year. I'd absolutely believe if we're not forced into an early Fed induced recession, then I believe the fourth quarter will be a good quarter. That's just what Larry believes on all of the data that I've been following, okay? So this is not written in the stone, but it just shows, okay? And we know what happened to GDP, it failed, right? And so now we gotta wait another quarter to see how uh, GDP is going. But this is what we have to look for in the next six weeks. And so I wanted you guys to see that. You know what? Let's check the pre-markets while we're here. Um, pre-markets are mostly flat. Let me uh, refresh. Yeah, pre-markets are flat, right? You see a little green, uh, you know, the S&P Dow and all of that. But that's flat, good people. That's not enough to, to, to mean a heel of beings right now because you're going to see periods this coming in the next couple of weeks, you're going to see days where the market opens green and close red. And you're going to see days where the market opens red. And I mean, the Dow will be up by two, three hundred, you know, and then we'll tank at closing bell. You're going to see a lot of those swings right now. You know, the big earnings season was last week. And so this is what we have to look forward to now these meetings and that's why i've been stressing it I, i've been stressing it stressing it stressing it so the reason why i'm stressing it is remember anything i say is not a suggestion for you to buy hold or sell me personally i'm just kind of pumping the brakes on all of the you know i'm, I'm pumping the brakes on buying i'm concentrating on cashing up and and that's why the way that we're if you're following me and you're following my five dollar a day challenge which you know should be $10, $20, $30 a day by now, is what I would say is half of that, whatever you've been putting in your $5 a day challenge, continue to do that, I'm gonna do that, you're gonna build wealth. But match that and put it in another portfolio. So the other portfolio that I'm suggesting to you now is Moomoo. And there's a link below, if you click my link, you're going to get five free stock worth up to $3,500 per stock by depositing $100, right? You already know that we kill it with Weeble, right? That's where we do our swing trading on stock, our swing trading on crypto, right? And so that's what I want to tell you to get ready for this week. Uh, in, er, later in this week, I'm going to talk about how raising interest rates affect the housing market. We know that that's a lagging indicator before a recession. But that could actually happen very quickly, like it did 2007, 2008. So we'll be, we will be discussing that later this week, right? I just wanted to make this one short because it makes sense 
if you see how everything is laid out and why the Fed raises the interest rates and the negative effect it has on the housing market and your ability to purchase a house, causing the, the pricing, I'm sorry, the housing market to cool off and to come down drastically. All right, we're gonna be discussing that. I'm gonna end by saying this. This morning, I spoke about a dear friend of mine, uh, Josh Nichols, Stocks with Josh, and how he blessed me when my mother passed. And I was talking about that because, you know, Mother's Day is next week. But, and there's a lot of messages that I learned, and he said some very powerful words. He literally picked up the phone, and these were the words out of his mouth. Brother, let me wash your feet. It humbled me, okay? But what I want to also tell you guys is this, and I'm living as we as we get older, we, we live and we learn. I'm going to say this. When God blesses you with a gift. Who are you to question the packaging? When God blesses you with a gift, who are you to question the packaging? If you were walking down the street and you saw a brown paper bag and it was a million dollars in it. Would you throw the million dollars away because it was a brown paper bag? No. And the reason I'm saying this is not because Josh is, uh, is white and I'm black. I'm saying this to this to encourage some of you guys that the people that should be in your life don't look like you. I'm saying to some of you single women that's been single, you know, forever in the day and you're looking for the six, you know, look six foot nine guy and perfect teeth and all of that, you know, the, 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 the man that's going to love you and treat you right. He may be the janitor, you know, he may be walking behind a garbage truck that makes good money and he will be the man that protects you and loves you and treats you right. But you, you got this idea in your head that this person has to look like that. And that was a lesson that I had to learn. Even now in my second marriage, I've been married for over 15 years now, but I almost messed up by question by, you know, saying, well, the packaging is different. You know, that's not the color that I saw. That's not, you know, how I envision it to be. And we we will truly, truly, truly miss out on the blessing that we have, you know, that God has wrapped this gift for us. And I just wanted to say that to encourage you. Even with your relationships and your friendships, don't be afraid to go across the aisle and speak to people that don't look like you. Don't assume the worst based on how people look, because the people sometimes that could be the biggest blessings in your life don't look or sound like you. And uh, so, you know, there was a report that came out that, you know, in the next hundred or so, couple of hundred years or whatever, that most people will be beige. And I, I wish I could be around for that day because all of this stupid racism stuff will be over and we can just look at people. But what will be there will be classism, the rich and the poor. I don't want to get on that. That's a whole nother subject. But I just want to tell you as you go to work tomorrow, as you go to your houses of worship or, or, or as you get up and do your daily hustles, go to, to class, you know, um, the nerdy guy with the glasses might be the best husband for you hot chicks out there. You know, I'm just telling you when God gives you a gift, don't question the packaging. That is a life lesson that I have learned and I have been uh, richly blessed from not preconceiving what my how my gift should be coming to me and that's what i want to encourage you guys and so a lot of you guys don't even know the person who should be loving you is already looking at you but you're not even giving you're not even looking their way and so i don't know why but somebody needs to hear this tonight and so that's why i wanted to bring this to you guys all right this is sunday for those of you that are new i get preachy on sunday but this is what i do they let me do it and then monday through saturday i get back to the stock and i just you know, try to keep it positive. All right. Hey, I love you guys as always. Just wanted to slide that in. Be prepared for this week and uh, we're going to get into it. Live, love, laugh and learn. Peace.